Hey guys, this is Celeste. Uh, last week we talked about epistemology and the four epistemological approaches to research. And this video log is based on my epistemological approach to research and what that is. So the four ones that Becky talked about in class were pragmatism, constructionism, call to action, and mixed methods. Um, so pragmatism is essentially a tree is a tree is a tree. It's the objective approach. It says that, you know, there's no bias from the researcher. It's just, here are the questions, here are the facts, here's the analysis. It's all very clear-cut and factual. Constructionism is kind of the opposite. It says that the researcher cannot be unbiased. They always have subjective feelings, that, and that affects, you know, their research in different ways, you know, and, and who they ask to be a part of their research, how they conduct their research, what kind of questions they ask, and so that's essentially what constructionism is. The third one is call to action. It is usually based on social justice issues and it is the, the approach for that is there's always for that research a call to, for change of some kind. You're starting out with some kind of social justice problem and there's always a call for change. And that one is a little less clear-cut, just because um, you can't, you know, it's there is very there are very few issues that everyone is unanimous about. In most issues, it's benefiting some people and harming or not benefiting other people. So it's hard, especially with social justice issues and with subjective feelings, to say like this is the good and this is the bad. This is what needs to be changed. But um, that's essentially what call to action is. And finally, mixed methods is the catch-all. It is all three of the last social just or excuse me epistemological approaches mixed together. So it's any kind of research that couldn't narrow it down to one type and needs more than one type to really thoroughly get through the research. That for that they used mixed methods. And when we first started talking about it and trying to figure out what our personal approach to research was. I liked mixed methods because I was like, why would you need to pick one of the other three when you can just have the catch-all and, and all three um, mixed together? And Becky explained that it was more like a cop-out. Um, it was for research that couldn't narrow it down enough to pick one approach, and it isn't seen as a very um, useful or positive approach to research. Um, Pragmatism I have a lot of experience with being in a science related field. I've done many lab reports and a lot of our introductory paragraphs and discussion paragraphs have outside scientific research and sources that you know we bring information in from. So I have some experience with that, but I do think that pragmatic or pragmatism as an approach isn't very effective for social research. So with science, it makes sense because it's all just facts, you know, theory and fact. And there's there usually isn't, well, in most science, there isn't any kind of input from the researcher because it's just it's what's real, it's what's factual in the world. But with social issues and with social research, it's definitely not that clear cut. Um, you can't take out the emotions and subjective feelings of the participants so why would you why would you take out the emotions and subjective input from the researcher it just doesn't seem realistic so and i narrowed it down to constructionism and call for action um i really liked what javante was saying about the call for action he, it really resonated with me that he was talking about wanting to have that goal and wanting to have that end result and like that is what would drive his passion and would it would it would drive his research forward and that stuck with me because I agree with him completely. I love, you know, when I walk out of some kind of meeting or some kind of agreement with someone, I like knowing, okay, what's my next step? What am I going to change? What am I going to do next? So um, it resonated with me a lot. And I feel like research is more useful and effective if it has some kind of change or some kind of call afterwards. If, if it's Obviously, it is important to have just the informational research, like we need to gather these facts, and now we have established that something is true. But I really enjoy being parts of, of anything, whether it be research or something else, that makes a change for the better. So 
call for action really resonated with me and um, constructionism seemed very realistic to me uh, it's saying that the researcher has you know subjective input and it affects how they conduct their research and I think that I, I was a little confused about how that was an approach of its own because I think that you can have this is um, capers the cat you can have a research question and you have like and you use a call to action approach or well not a pragmatic you can I think that you can combine call to action and constructionism is essentially what I'm saying which is why I was a little confused why constructionism was its own category or why call to action was its own category even because I think that constructionism is like how the research is conducted and call to action is also how the research is conducted because it has a goal in mind but I think that you could have both so but if I had to pick one I think I would choose call to action um, that one resonated with me the most and I um, I do want to say however that I think that it's all very situational based so um, it really depends on what the question is and what the research is about and that I and mean, you have to decide what your question is before you can decide how you're going to approach it. So uh, I'm excited to figure out what our research project is going to be about. And I'm not set in stone about which approach is my favorite. But um, in other words, if we picked one that would require a different type of approach, I would be happy to work in that way. Um, but it was really interesting to find out about these different approaches. And it is our first step toward our research project. Thank you.